So, leftovers. <laughs> so, I don't like throwing things away. And this could be kind of pretty cool looking bowl or platter or some kind. Don't know. But we certainly don't want to chuck it away, do we? So what I thought we would do today is see what we can make from this bit of scrap left over from the project that we did. It was a CD player. Know what that is? <laughs> the idea obviously of that project was that you could get your old CDs out that were tucked away in the back of the room somewhere or in a cupboard or in a box and play them. So let's get this on the lay and see what we can make. Okay, now as you can see, it's come up quite nice. I haven't shined it yet. It's just had a couple of coats of sand and cedar on it and some Yorkshire grit. It's looking okay. Uh, got rid of quite a bit of the blue because it was, well, just wasn't very good at the top here. So I had to cut it back. So it's got a little chunk in it there. <laughs> that looks all right. You know, it's a feature, isn't it? It's a feature, it looks good. Um, so just going to polish this up now. I've got a few bits and pieces in here I've got to get out of here. Polish this up. I'm going to use the old <clears throat> shallow wax. Get that shining up. Watch this baby pop. This will really pop this wood out. It will really do this. It's going to look pretty cool. So, right, get that on there. We'll flip it over, hollow it out, and see how this badger looks. I think it's turning out to look pretty funkadelic.
<laughs> there we go, folks. Didn't want to chuck that one away. Thought we could make something out of it. So uh, I, I had it lying on the side there. It's been there for a while since I made the CD player. If you haven't seen that video, check it out. I did have a thought about making a lid, uh, you know, for the player, something like that. That's what a lot of people did mention in the comments. Thank you for that. Um, but I kind of should have done that whilst I was making the player, then I could have fitted it a bit better, so I didn't do that. Uh, so this was left over from, from the CD player, so it looks quite nice actually. There's some really nice features in this piece. Didn't end up with a massive amount of the blue, but there's a piece there which sort of extends down into the crack, which is quite nice. And then, you know, a piece inside there and, and there as well. So overall, it's not bad. Got my cheeky little emblem in there as well. Well, that's it, folks. Uh, just to let you folks know, I am now officially filming for the next or the new series of Mend It For Money, which will be on Channel 4 in the UK. I'm sure that you can pick it up uh, in the US as well via the internet. I'll get links out to you when the show comes out. We're currently filming lots of different makers involved. It's really cool. The one I'm working on now is a really nice old printer's cabinet. It's awesome. Happy days. <laughs> so look out for that one. If you don't follow me on Instagram, please check me out because I will be putting some updates on Instagram about Mend It For Money and the show and the things that I'm going to get up to. Plus loads of other stuff that I'm up to. Got these in the post hmm? from Chase. Is it Chase? Like Chevy Chase. I reckon they might work quite well in a project. We'll get those in somewhere, somewhere. Cheers, Chase. That's not Jace. That's Ch yeah. Please check out all my other links uh, below, Yorkshire Grit. If you're a member of Maker Central, you can get yourself some discounts on that, plus loads of other discounts off of Trend, Record Power, Chestnut Products, Dickies, all sorts of discounts just for you. Check out Maker Central members, I'll leave a link below. There's also loads of other links down there for you where I get my music from, folks. A loads of people ask me that in the comments, like what track is this, where do you get your music from? If you follow the link below, you'll be helping out me and you with some really cool tracks for your channel. Well, thanks for joining me on this one, folks. If you haven't subscribed, please smash that subscribe button because I've got some really weird and funky projects in the pipe. Take care, have a funky one, and I'll see you really soon.